Good morning out there, traders. It is February 2nd, 2024, and welcome to the Apteros Daily Market Insight for the ES. Let's start with our recap, and then we'll update our session plan for today. So taking a look at yesterday, we had a line in the sand that was bearish in nature with scenario one being a move or a hold below, and then scenario two being a break or a move above that line in the sand. Um, often this is the main goal of our DMI is trying to drill things down to one clear area where we kind of only have two scenarios to really work with. Um, it doesn't always work out that easily, but uh, this is the main goal of what we had going on. You can see from the price action from yesterday, the plan was essentially spot on. And uh, we'll talk about some of the things that I'd mentioned also in the student version of the DMI where we go into a little bit more analysis. So taking a look early here, we had a uh, short off of our line in the sands. Uh, that was perfectly available coming into that opening uh, drive or opening part of the session. And we end up seeing a move coming off of that, heading almost down into our main target area uh, for the first leg of our short plan. Now, if you remember the DMI yesterday, I'd mentioned that this particular neutral reference was going to be important to us for any further continuation of the downside out into this open space here. Um, if we were going to hold in this particular reference, that was going to be something that we were monitoring as the what isn't happening type of picture. And this is stuff that I mentioned in the more student-based DMI uh, that has a lot more analysis in it and so forth. But um, essentially, that particular neutral reference was important for us to monitor for any holds below or above it in terms of whether or not we were going to continue to trend to the downside or if that trend was going to stall out and possibly um, you know, get weaker coming to the upside. So that was what we were mainly watching with that lower neutral reference. And you could see here, we get almost down to that neutral reference. Then we get a couple of other inflections on the short side to get a chance to get into that area. And that was really the main plan with scenario one. From there, uh, there really wasn't much else to do as this market started to rally back up. We did know that this rally was important for us to monitor because we weren't seeing any holds below that neutral reference for that open space kind of trending environment that we were looking for off of this line in the sand and the deeper you know, more extended scenario one. So after we get up to this point in the market from yesterday, uh, it doesn't really quite accept at this point. You know, if you were going to trade to the long side here, you were definitely working on a micro level in terms of acceptance. The acceptance picture wasn't there. We've talked many times about acceptance in these DMIs. You can look at the past ones, but essentially we're looking for that leg of rhythm to hold, um, you know, a little bit above the area of the line in the sand, and we didn't quite have that yet. But then on the second drive here, we definitely get that rhythm holding up above. So from here on, there's no question about it. Uh, you are switched to scenario two, and you are looking for long opportunity. You really only need one inflection right here. If you missed it, there was a second chance here, and it continues straight up into the first target area, you know, meanders around a little bit, and then blasts through into the close uh, for the second target area. So one of those days that we just had the plan spot on from kind of start to finish. Um, it doesn't always work out this cleanly, but you know, more often than not, we tend to err on the side of, of, of this type of performance. So that's our overall goal with these DMIs is just trying to make sure uh, that we can drill things down as clearly as possible when we have clarity in the context. So now taking a look here at today's DMI, we are in a spot where things just aren't as clear. I have some neutral references here. I have some overall thoughts on what we can do in terms of a plan for today. But ultimately, I'm not necessarily putting out a true, you know, biased based DMI because of where we're currently sitting right now in price and acceptance. There are just conflicting um, ideas and themes across our different time frames. So it's a dissonant market in terms of context or clarity. Let's put it that way, because. I think the market is is fairly clear in that we've been moving up, right? That's not the part that we're unclear about. The part that we're unclear about is the nature of the auction at the current prices. So what we're going to do essentially with today's DMI is just essentially look at it and say, since there's no clarity, since there's no obvious bias or trade setup that we have, um, there's really going to be no official version of the DMI with obvious scenarios and so forth. But I do have levels here to pay attention to during the session. Some of these levels are um, a little bit more important than others. For example, this first one here, early in the session, this particular level is going to be important. Uh, if we hold it, I think that the, the move up makes sense in terms of the context and heading up into that um, 
49.89 type of, of neutral reference up here. This is a value area that we had left behind back whenever we were making you know all-time highs. So this is a spot that we're going to be watching for to the upside as an overall destination, this particular zone up here. Um, I have it broken down, obviously, into two references because those references, if we accept inside of them, they become trade setups and targets and so forth. If they, you know, hold below, then, you know, they become areas that we can look for movement back off of them. And that's how all of these neutral references are going to behave uh, for today. In other words, you're going to monitor acceptance. If we are up above an area like we are with this one, uh, the idea is, is that the pullbacks hold and continue the upside. If they don't hold, those are opportunities to the downside um, to get into the next area and so forth. That is the way in which you would approach a neutral across the board area um, or, or DMI or something like that. But like I said, there's no official plan, no official scenarios for today. These are the levels that are generally or the references that are generally important to us for today within the natural framework. The thicker uh, neutral references, the ones that we have, you know, available to us, the ones up above are from older, you know, times. So these three are the main, you know, kind of areas to be watching for for today um, as the you know, market evolves. So I apologize, but, you know, it's not necessarily my fault that the market's just sitting in a spot that the NADRO uh, framework and the clarity and the context just doesn't necessarily make sense to be, you know, throwing risk at a particular bias or something like that. So there are days you want to be more cautious than others. I would say today is one of them. Um, you can definitely, you know, sit in a market where the clarity just kind of isn't obvious and whenever that is the situation it creates a much more difficult landscape for us in terms of developing out scenarios and so forth but that's just what we're sitting today so you know it is what it is you have to trade accordingly with you know every day's conditions um today's not a bad day to possibly watch the market evolve a little bit more um be a little bit more patient follow your process you know to the to the letter uh don't make compromises that kind of thing um, and that would be, you know, just generally good advice in a situation where we don't have a lot of clear trade setups uh, due to the different themes that we're seeing across the different time frames.